Alright, hello there guys, and welcome to another um, video of my, uh, of this program that we've been making. Uh, so if I just run it to show you what we've done so far, so that I make sure you're up to where we are. Um, so we have the equation being displayed at the moment. Alright, so moving on from this, we want to start putting this onto a canvas. So we're going to want to import Tekinter, which is the GUI program we're going to be using. So import Tekinter. Um, then we're going to go... Uh, uh, import... Oh, sorry. From Tekinter. So from Tekinter. From Tekinter. Import and start import all. Now we're going to go down to um, bottom and we're going to make a new module, so that's define. And we're going to define main. So this is going to be the main loop. Um, make sure you have this colon. Um, now we're going to go root equals t t capital T K. Then brackets and uh, a semicolon. So we're also going to want to make this global, so global and root. That needs a semicolon too. Going down, um, I'm going to just put in a root title. So root dot title. Now we need to write this like we write a, would write a string. So that's with the um, speech marks. And we're going to call this equations and then a closing one and a closing bracket. So that's going to bring up the top of the window. Um, so say if we run it, uh, we can't actually at the moment because we haven't finished, but I'll, I'll explain once we've done. So we're going to go then do canvas equals capital C canvas. Then we're going to go attach it to the root. Then we're going to do um, the width is equal to 400. Now this is hard coding, um, I know hard coding probably isn't the best thing to do and we can change that later once we've got it all working. Um, I know personally in the games that I've made such as the um, RP role playing game and stuff, I've had it auto defined so it detects the user's screen size and resizes. Um, and so that eliminated the hard coding and the width and height because it automatically defined the user's screen size. Right, anyway, carry on. Um, BG, which is background, equals string white. So that's going to set the background color of the canvas to white. And then we're going to pack it. Canvas.pack. Alright. Now, root dot main loop. And if we drop down, then we can go main. And that runs that function. So now um, what we're going to do is we're going to call equation creation within um, this main loop, so within here. So it should call the canvas, pack the canvas, and then in the shell it will open the words. We're going to convert that over uh, later on and probably in the next video or so. Um, so you can, oh, what's happened here? Ah, okay, so when we set x to 2 up here, we're running a while loop, which is not inside a function, like so, so not inside like a function like this. And so it is going down to there, running that as if it was running this. So it's running the equation, so it's getting to here, running the while loop, going equation creation, so it runs this. Then it, once it's run that, it runs use answer, which then once you get it correct, sets what, x to 2 again and runs this again. So it just loops through this one instead of getting down to run this. So to fix that we can either um, comment it out with an alt 3 which um, comments out a block of code or we could remove it completely. But at this point in time I think we're just gonna leave it there. So um, as you can see we now have a canvas and we have 
our equation being created on here. Right, so moving on, we are going to now put um, the text box onto um, the, the, the uh, canvas. So we're going to call that use input uh, and we can remove um, I guess this one here. Yeah. Uh, we also don't want the while loops in there anymore. Uh, so we can actually remove these now and we can remove the two I think. Okay so we want to get user input user input equals capital E entry. We now want to bind this to the root. We might move it into, oh uh, no we actually bind it to the canvas. Canvas um, text text variable equals user um, answer Maybe that's not right, sorry. Oh my god, my spelling today is terrible. Right, there we go. And we want to pack that to the root, uh, pack that to the canvas. So, user, user, input, dot pack. So if we run this now, it should show up a text box on the canvas. There we go. We now have a text box, as you can see. Alright. Um, then we want to go... I actually want to go uh, user... We're going to define this at the start and make it user input equals object with a semicolon okay it's still working now and now we're going to go um, if user input dot get brackets and we want to chuck this inside a bracket as well this whole bit. If user input dot get, so that's getting from the canvas, print correct and x2 will be not necessary anymore. Um, and we'll go back to equation creation. Oop, don't need a space. Oops. Right, so that should work now. Okay, let's test it. Obviously, the canvas other uh, item isn't going to be po uh, put up. So uh, six times eight. Uh, Forty-eight. Okay. Oh, right. We haven't bound anything, so we haven't. There's no way to put this message through. So we're going to do that in the next video. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll run this, uh, putting it onto the canvas part through multiple parts of a video because it's going to be way too long to do in one video. Um, so thanks for watching guys, uh, stay tuned for the next video.